Hey Bulldog fans, welcome into this week's edition of the Student Athlete Spotlight presented by Coca-Cola. I'm John McAfee, who's very happy today to be joined by Mary Raymond, junior midfielder on the Sanford soccer team. Mary, I appreciate you being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, I'm going to start the same way I start with just about everyone. Just tell us a little bit about what brought you to Sanford. You're a Florida native, so just tell us a little bit about the recruiting process for you. Yeah, so the first time I actually came here was in middle school, um, and I came with my team because we were playing a local club, and I absolutely loved it. Um, and I was only like 13, so I didn't know really what I wanted. Um, but then I just came back my sophomore year of high school, and it checked all the boxes. Um, great location, um, just the atmosphere here, like talking to the players, like they give you the real deal about the school, and like they were all just so positive about it. Um, love the coaches. The Christian environment is really, really important for me. Um, and I just, a lot of schools, it was like something that I could do, but it wasn't intertwined with soccer. So I think that's a really important thing about Sanford. Well, this past weekend, you guys clinched your eighth consecutive SOCON regular season title. It's hard to fathom winning eight championships in a row in, in any sport. And I'm sure when you came here, you knew there was a, a culture of success and expectation. But did you ha ever imagine you could be a part of a program that's won eight in a row? And has it sunk in that you won eight in a row? It honestly hasn't sunk in. It's crazy just hearing it out loud. Like, I mean, it's just bizarre. Um, but no, I didn't really know. I knew that Samford was um, a really strong school, but I wasn't sure that I'd be a part of something so big. But um, like Coach always says, that's two recruiting classes. That's like insane. I just think it's a accumulation of all the hard work of so many people, people who are like off doing like being doctors and stuff. And it's just like their hard work as well. Talked to Todd a little bit last week about the regional rankings and also RPI. And he kind of sees the top 50 as that barometer for RPI to be in the, the conversation for an at-large bid. And right now this week, you guys are at number 50 on the dot. So you're entering that discussion. Is that something that you girls look at at all? Or are you just kind of focused on looking at the next game and focusing on the tournament? Yeah, it's definitely a balance. Um, coaches brought it up a couple of times in the last week or so. Um, we're not sure if we'd ever get an at-large bid, so we definitely still want to win the tournament. Um, but seeding in the NCAA tournament is really important. So getting up there is extremely important for who you're going to play in the rounds. And I think we have a good enough team to um, make it far into the NCAA tournament. But we also do focus just game by game. Like, um, I mean, it would have been easy for us to just look over Wofford and only focus on Furman. But I think it was extremely important that we focus game by game to get what needs to be done each time. Well, we got to talk about your level of play on the field. Obviously, it's been a bit of a breakout year for you. You did appear in every game in the spring, but you've really become a regular fixture in the starting lineup now. And lead the team in shots on goal, you're tied for second in goals, third in total points. In your mind, what has led to this jump forward in your play? Yeah, I think this year has just come with a lot of growth, um, a lot of confidence, and that's thanks to the coaches, you, you know, helping me through that and my teammates. And of course, none of my goals have been me dribbling down the field by myself. I mean, great assists by Audrey, Alyssa, um, Taylor, just to name a few. And I think just the success that I've been able to have is just a reflection of like the whole group. Obviously, in the preseason, I'm sure there was a little extra motivation. You guys were picked second after winning seven consecutive titles. Talk about the motivation factor, but also give me a little insight on what the mood was two weeks ago when you played Furman at home after that heartbreaking loss last year. Yeah, um, I wish everyone could see the group chat from the day the poll was um, put out. There was just so much grit and fire and motivation. I mean, it was just so awesome. Obviously, we were upset and just shocked that, that we've won seven years in a row, but um, I think it was just that extra ounce of uh, motivation that we we didn't necessarily need it because I think we had it um, every year. We have that motivation and just losing last year we had it. But um, I, I don't know, it just gave us that extra push. And then in the locker room before the game, I mean, we were so motivated. Personally, I had never, I've tied for him in regular season the past two years. So we really wanted to get like third times a charm. Um, I'm just so proud of us for getting that win. Coach always talks about just the culture of, of love and respect that you guys have for each other. Just talk a little bit about how close this team is on and off the field. Yeah, I mean, you always hear family thrown out there, but it, I think it's really true at Samford. Um, I mean, I spend every single second with these girls, um, have class with them, eat lunch with them, go to soccer, and still on off days, all I want to do is hang out with them. Um, and I definitely think that reflects on the field. I mean, I think that's why the assists and the goals are spread out across so many people on the team, because we want what's best for each person. And like, we're willing to take that extra pass and not be selfish because we want what's best for them. Talk a little bit about the impact that Todd has had on this program. Obviously, you've had a little bit of assistant coach turnover in the past few years uh, with Jake going to ETSU and then Ben was here for a year and now Carl. But Todd's been such a staple here, 20 years, eight consecutive regular season titles, year in and year out. What is it that he brings to this program that allows for that continued success? Yeah, um, I think what comes to mind first is he's great at recruiting um, talent, but also just amazing people. Every single person I played with here is just an incredible human being, um, and I think that really helps. But he cares about us as people, not just as soccer players. He wants us to develop on the field, of course, and we continue to get better every year. Um, but just he cares about us as human beings. He cares how we're doing in school, you know, how our family is, how we're doing just in everyday life. And I think that um, like playing at somewhere where you know you're loved and cared about just really helps our success. All right, Mary, we're going to end with some rapid fire questions, some about you and then some about the team. All right, favorite hobby outside of soccer? Uh, watching Netflix, New Girl. <laughs> New Girl, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, cats or dogs or both? Dogs. Okay. 
Starbucks or Dunkin'? Starbucks. Oh man, wrong answer, but <laughs> we're, we're gonna let it slide. Okay, uh, dream vacation? Uh, Aruba. Favorite thing about Birmingham? The food. Okay, <laughs> what's your favorite food spot? I like Taco Mama. If you were playing another sport, what would it be? Probably basketball. Okay, did you play in high school? I played in middle school. Okay, close enough. <laughs> uh, favorite holiday and why? Christmas, just being with the family. I don't know, it's fun. Okay. Uh, Halloween's coming up. What's the best costume you've ever had? What's the best costume? I was Batman one year. Okay. <laughs> Typical. Yeah, you can't, you can't get wrong with Batman. <laughs> uh, biggest pet peeve? Oh, people smacking their lips when they're chewing. <laughs> okay, yeah. You could ask yeah. anyone, that's the answer for me. What's your dream job? I mean, I want to be a PA. I guess that's my dream job, yeah. Okay, we're going to switch it up to your teammates now. Who's the most dramatic? Kyla said it was you a couple <laughs> of weeks ago, so i got to start with that one. I know. Um, I would say Jennifer. Who's the best in the classroom? Hmm. Kyla. Okay. Would she also be most likely to, to study the entire bus ride? Yes, yes. She's always <laughs> she's doing stuff two weeks in advance. <laughs> okay. Who on the team has made the biggest impact on you? It doesn't have to be from this year, but in your three years here. Alex Bice. Um, I just really look up to her ever since I got here, yeah. Most likely to be a celebrity. Celebrity? Maybe Morgan. She can sing. She's an really? <laughs> Okay. How about best and worst dance moves? Kyla has the worst dance moves. <laughs> That's um, fair. You gotta throw her under um, the bus after she said you were the most dramatic, so. Yeah. Nikki's pretty good at dancing. Okay. How about best and worst taste in music? Probably Alyssa Frazier has the worst. <laughs> um, Gab has some pretty good taste in music. Okay, what, what's uh, what's playing in the locker room pregame most of the time? Okay, so Unwritten by Natasha Bedingfield has to be played. Um, okay. Sweet Caroline is really good. I know Kyla said some Kesha. Just a, a wide variety, so many different things. Gotcha. Well, Mary, I appreciate your time. Congrats on another SoCon championship, and good luck this weekend against Chattanooga. Thank you so much. Junior midfielder Mary Raymond, I'm John Max Poos. That'll do it for this edition of the Student Athlete Spotlight, presented by Coca-Cola.